So this should be very appealing to the anti-gunners and all the people on YouTube that think that uh, working on a firearm is really a foreboding thing because we're going from a five round capacity magazine down to a single shot, which is reducing the potential rate of fire while increasing accuracy. And what's wrong with better accuracy? I don't really know. But uh, this has a, the bolt release right here. You just have to depress this. There's a little tab down here and the bolt will come right out. stock separated from our action so we're just going to pull the bottom metal out of this it comes right out it's all just friction fit and I'll slide out first there is a little spring in here you don't want to lose turns into a gray color. Just take a razor blade. And you can use that sort of like a uh, squeegee. Just trying to fill in that void. We've checked the bolt that it clears nicely. We've cleaned up our mess. I'm going to leave that little bit on the tape. And we're going to let this set for 24 hours and we'll come back and visit it uh, tomorrow. Sanded down the stack with some 400 wet or dry sandpaper. Blew it off. Hit it with a coat of rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no oil left on the surface. We're using a Gravity Feed HVLP gun, which is high volume, low pressure. Been around for decades now. And this is a base coat black. This is Ford black, which is one of the more pure blacks and then we're going to let that dry and then go over the top of that with a urethane clear with a hardener so it will be solvent proof overnight for this to cure up a little bit and this next step is what really makes the finish pop and it doesn't really take that long especially if you catch it in that window of time before the paint is completely cured uh, usually within about a week the hardener and the clear will dry up to the point where it makes it very difficult to get rid of the scratches so all we're going to do today is we're going to take the got a little piece of 1500 grit 
this is wet sand sponge and I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm gonna just remove some of the dust that we had from painting it outside Now you'll notice that all of the, the imperfections have been sanded out of it. The one thing you don't want to do is sand an area that you really can't get to very well with a compound or the polisher. Okay, so the stock has all been sanded down with 1500 grit on that wet sponge. And you can see that we've removed all of, all of the little hunks of dirt. Might be just a little bit of texture left, but we're going to leave that. And... Next step is we're going to go over it with a, a compound, which this is about 2,500 to 3,000 grit. And I also use that for uh, polishing out my rifle bores from time to time, like uh, JB bore paste. And then after we go over it with the compound, then we're going to go and hit it with the foam pad glaze. And this is anywhere between four and 5,000 grit with a glaze that goes right into the little scratches that remain. And that should give us a very nice black ebony finish on this. Put the trigger in. This is a Juul one and a half ounce trigger. I'm gonna give it a little tap. This automotive wax, by the way, works great on cars. I do my Mustang with it all the time. Let that set for a minute. Might even just put a tad on the thread area there so these will go in a little easier. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a small amount of the JB right into the recoil lug and the whole idea behind that is to make sure that that lug is in there and it's not going to move back and forth. So we do have a couple of screws here that were custom because they're they're a sort of strange dimension and I just wanted to make sure that those were ready so those were all pre-fit ahead of time put a mass of it right in there
Well, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. We've got this gun tracking really nicely now, and hopefully it'll perform pretty well. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And like always, have a good weekend.